Hey guys, this is Cherry Blossoms, and we're back with Autumn's Journey. So, uh, here's the next part, and this is part 5, which was, I believe... Oh, I want to be a knight. Right. Guard. Halt. State your business. Cargo delivery from the Merchant Ventures. I have expected some questioning, but the name seemed to carry enough weight that the guard simply nodded and ordered the gate to be raised. While that was happening, I approached the client, who gave me a small pouch of coins. As per our agreement... I grinned and accepted the payment, resisting the urge to check. Was it rude if you counted the money in front of your client? The heaviness seemed appropriate as my fingers gripped the bag. Thank you. I'm glad you arrived safely. Take care. <laughs> okay. As the carriage rolled away, and was like Karen and Laurie were standing around, gawking up the thick city walls. <laughs> well, shall we get going? Oh, uh, Laurie. And the carriage is like, eh. They broke out of their trance. Lamari's eyes showed radiantly, while Kara tried to hide his stupefaction. Okay. Please try and stay with me. No wandering off. I tucked the pouch into my belt and quietly followed, soaking in the sights as we entered the city. At first, we strolled easily through the wide streets, which had many carts and carriages passing by. Eventually, the crowds thickened, forcing us to slow down. I could see two dragons getting a few curious stares. Are the two dragons getting a few curious stares, but everyone seemed too busy for their own schedules to pay real attention. No, those are more than just passing glances. <clears throat> those were no more than just passing glances. If it was more unusual, I'm sure people would have stopped and commented. It was then I spotted one more person with similar ears up to cares, so it was true that there were more dragon kind here. At the plaza, there was a large platform with carnival feats on display. Fire Eater launched a flame, and the crowd awed and applauded accordingly. Okay. Wait. Er, wait. I didn't know that having kind could breathe fire. What is this trickery? How does that work? Can anyone learn it? Um, it, it's uh, an illusion. It only appears like that because he extinguishes it at the right time. Come on, this way. As we zigzagged, Elmari ab abruptly stopped and I nearly bumped into him. El Elmari? He found a glass blowing shop with an open front and one of the artists was molding a transparent blue bubble through the blow tube. Suspended all around the store with glass-blown ornaments, below, rainbow vases sparkled in the sunlight. Amari gasped in wonderment. That's... that's phenomenal! Phenomenal! <laughs> How are they able to create something so beautiful? So many colors! He took a step forward, but I quickly pulled on his braid. Then on... Uh, uh, then on Kara's hair! <laughs> Because he was dawdling towards the pastry shop. We'll never get to the Argent Valerie Guild at this point. At this rate. Come on. Oh no, Mari. But I want to see. They have apple tarts. You can check the glass shop later. And care, you'll get cavities if you keep eating those. Enough dilly-dallying. We have somewhere to go. And I want to get there now. I released them both after they promised that they wouldn't run off and made sure that they stayed close. Fortunately, the guild is located in a quieter part of town, between the church and public, public gardens. Carol looked quizzically up at the headquarters, which proudly displayed an embossed sign. This doesn't look like an altar. <laughs> sorry, sorry, this is a small side trip, promise. I clapped my hands together and gave a tiny little bow, closing one eye. There's something I really need to do first. I love to have you come with me, but there's probably they probably don't just allow anyone. So can you two please not wander off? I'll treat you to all the glass shops and tar apple- uh, uh, I can't speak. I'll treat you to all the glass shops and apple tarts you want after. Promise. Fine. I sighed, but I was relieved that at least one of them was obedient. Besides, even if there are dragon kind here, you might attract too much attention. And I won't be- oh, and I won't be there to protect you if something bad happens. Don't worry about us. We'll be over there. He pointed to the garden, which consisted of shady trees- of shady trees and benches scattered around the pretty flower beds. Thank you. I fished out the letter eagerly and eagerly entered the building. Inside, everything seemed more normal than I had anticipated. It reminded me of the lobby of an inn or a shop. It was a large board with various scribbled reports pinned to the cork. A few knights in authentic-looking badges walked by, giving me only a passing glance. I approached who I assumed was the receptionist. Um, this is the Argent Valerie headquarters, right? Right. 
I have a letter advocating me for the title of a knight. Do you simply join if you fulfill some requirements, or how does that this work? First, where do you, what academy did you graduate from? Um, I was homeschooled. She shook her head and I started to get anxious. I pushed the letter from the counter. At least for this, Lady Briard. Lady Briard? Uh, yes, I'm her daughter. She personally trained me so I could officially join the knights and serve under the Sun and Moon Council. She ripped up, opened the letter and read it eagerly, like it was addressed to a fan from an admired sub celebrity. Uh, her eyes started down and she looked up with a peculiar expression. Her credentials and titles are longer than... I know. You must have lost the potential of your Bayard's daughter. Sadly, we no longer accept people who merely train trained under one person. What? She flashed an apologetic smile. I'm sorry, so sorry, but rules are rules, and as much as I admire your mother, new protocols have recently impl recently been impl Im implemented, and they are to be not followed. Er, they are to be followed. If you want, I could look for openings into the all overnight cat. Her voice droned on, but I could no longer register anything. I could only stare at there numbly and nod. All my training for nothing. That can't be. Oh, really? <clears throat> Uh, really? Are you okay? I wasn't sure what had happened, but I had somehow managed to make my way to one of the benches outside. <laughs> I was curled up with my head nestled in my knees, not responding to any of Elmari's pleas. Elmari's like, what? Well, we're doing you. So, did it work out? Care! What? I'm just asking if it worked out. <laughs> Obviously not! Embarrassed and eyes teary, I glanced up to see what the other two were doing. Omari was hovering around me fretfully, like he was trying to figure out how to shoot a spider out of the kitchen. Kira, on the other hand, gave me a stern look that said he'd relegated me to the status of dirt of the dirt under his shoe. And I didn't care. It's over. It's all over. Oh, what does one do to share heavenkind? I tilted over, letting my curled body rest against the bench. They usually take him or her out to the pub so they can drown in their sorrows. What is a pub? I is it a type of lake? I, I don't want anyone to drown. Oh my gosh, those two. My chest and shoulders shuddered from a half hiccup cup sob at and a laugh. Oh, those two. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> I sat up and wiped my head and my eyes. I'm fine. It'll just take a while to recover. That's all. <laughs> Mari's like, no. What do I do? As long as you take me to that, or as long as you take me to the next altar, I'm good. I scowled and shot him, shot up, staring him at, in the eye. I wanted to become a knight so I could be able to help you better. I still have no idea what those are, and I don't care. <laughs> don't care? You've already delayed us long enough with your fiasco. And you're the one who kept telling us not to wander off. Hey, rocks your brains. Precious little girl's dreams just sort of shattered into a million pieces here. Excuse me if I don't feel like... Um... Guiding you to the next altar now? <sighs> this is pathetic. I bet I could find someone else better who would be... Uh... Sorry. More willing to... <sighs> Quiet! Both of you! Aww. There was a first snarl at the end of Omari's sentence, and both of us immediately stopped arguing. I blinked blankly as I sat down, back down on the bench, surprised that Omari could express such ire. What? Ire? If he desired. The flare vanished, as soon as, and soon he was his usual calm self, but with a considerate yet stern edge to his voice. This obviously isn't getting us anywhere. Aureli, I know this mean, means or meant a lot to you, but we also can't forget the original reason for being here. Care, ease off. Oh, okay, so go on, sorry. Let's not fight, especially when we'll be working together to get your form back. He softened and leaned in so he was on eye level with me. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Like, I'm imagining this, like, what it would look like, and it's adorable. Aureli, er, it's the. Aureli, you can still help, knight or not. It's only a title, right? You've already done so much for us. You're like a knight already. Cute Omari. <laughs> For some reason that caused me to smile, and I chuckled lightly at his attempt to cheer me up. Yeah, I can still help. I stood back up. <laughs> you can be cool sometimes too, Omari. And with chair. 
He put it in folded his arms. I'm pretty sure I'm the oldest one here. Karen and I exchanged surprise glances since I had definitely pegged him, Elmari, as the baby of the group. Do we both feel like we can talk in a mic in a mickable manner again? I nodded. After moments of hesitation, Kara shrugged, but I didn't fight back. Oh, I forgot the letter, even though I don't see a point in going back for it now. Maybe I should have listened to the alternatives. It wasn't like I was getting completely rejected. It's my fault for relying too much on my mom's pet name, anyways. At that moment, someone ran up to us, clutching the letter. He carried an air of formality, and I instantly recognized his uniform rank as the captain of the guard. I gaped, but quickly regained regain my composure. Excuse me, but is this your letter? I merely nodded. Yeah, how did you know? When I asked the receptionist about this, she said a young lady took it rather hard when she didn't get accepted. Although I could, could not see Elmari and Kara's reactions, I had a feeling they were promptly agreeing with that remark. Did you witness the bench scene from earlier? Being reminded my rejection was enough to get me on the verge of tears, but I nodded again and tried to regain some di dignity. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry for not knowing what the new regulations and... She could said. I was never a stickler for those changes. I find them too limiting. Why, back in my day... You trailed off and coughed. <clears throat> uh, um, how, however, I can't just knight anyone. If you possess the same skill and potential as a student of the Oliver Knight Academy, I could possibly make an exception here. I felt my heart stop as I tried to prevent a paroxysm of squealing. However, even if you're a lady by Arid's daughter, I'm not going to go easy on you. You will still need to take a test, and I'm prepared and I'm pressed for time. Would you prefer a, prefer a test of sword skills or a written exam? Sword, sword, sword! He glanced at me in bafflement, but smiled. Just like your mother. I worked under her for years. And if she knew about the uh, if she knew about the new guidelines, she'd probably be livid. He gestured back to the headquarters. Then, if you're ready, I glanced back at Elmari and Kerr, resisting the urge to jump. I'll be back soon. Please wait here. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a serendipitous. Ah, uh, serendip. Serendipitous. Serendipitous. Ah, huh, that was serendipitous. <laughs> oh gosh, event. I'm glad things worked out. Er. Uh, I'm glad things worked out in that. Are you kidding? Everyone entering and exiting the building saw her embarrassing display. I'm not surprised someone decided to see why there was a girl dissolving into a bench from all her tears. One track of mind, that girl. <laughs> Same as you. I hope she comes back soon, though. She did promise to take me to that glittering shop. <laughs> What's a cavity, anyways? <laughs> By the way, Elmari. Elmari? <laughs> he said his name. That's what I said. Uh, you're right. About earlier, you fought rather competently. That surprised me. Never thought any of my spells would come in handy that way. I'm glad it worked out. Uh, why did you and Aureli burst out laughing anyways? I admit it was a rather interesting scare tactic, but I don't think that was its intention. <laughs> it was nothing. I'm curious. Nothing important. <laughs> hey, you two. Did it work out? I mustered a small smile and rubbed the back of my head. Um, yeah. Maybe not as I'd like, but not all was lost. Basically, he was impressed, but he can't give me the rank without more proof. I'll be helping out at the Argent Valerie Guild as a knight in training. I can do quests and little tax tasks, but I can't be included in any major orders. They said to compare it to a final year at the at their academy. I didn't exactly get that comment as I'd never been enrolled before, but I guess that meant I could consider myself close to graduating. Explaining the situation solidified some of my confidence, and now I was winning. I, I even got a little badge! <laughs> That's cute. Elmari clapped. And Kara's mouth tugged very slightly at a corner. Ah. So, can we go to the next altar? Yes, Kara. However, it's getting late, so things will have to be postponed. But I still intend to keep my promises, and I'll take you to the altar first thing in the morning, and then I'll show you the marketplace. I'm happy with that arrangement. That works. Oh, and I even got my own lodging, like a real knight. But I can't let unauthorized people in with me. Um, I could find an inn for both of you and... 
sorry, excuse me. Um, an inn? Where you can sleep indoors for a price. Ah, uh, we'd pay then. No, we'll be fine outside, okay? I'd rather sleep outside anyways. Right, it's autumn now, but it's still pretty warm. However, please tell me when it's starting to get too cold to remain outside at night, then I can arrange it in. I'm not sure where we go currently. The gardens seem nice, so you could easily get some sleep there. Just don't get into any trouble when I'm not around. Omari chuckled. Like a mother, our, cu our cultures may be different, but we do have common sense. His gaze briefly flickered at to Kerr, as if second-guessing himself. I'll be watching over him anyways. What's that supposed to mean? I went to the lodge as the other, with, with the others as directed and was pointed to the second floor where I would be staying. It was essentially like an inn. Female knights temporarily staying in all of her live here. While they remain here, they do various tasks around the city for little for money or little rewards. <laughs> Think of it as training for all the virtues a knight should rep represent, so they should be honorable and righteous both on the battlefield and while protecting civilians. And of course, you'll help me. You two will be able to learn everything about heaven kind without it getting too boring. If I didn't become a knight in training, we'd probably just wander aimlessly, hoping for something to do, and I don't think Kara's master would accept that as a meaningful experience. Makes sense. Is this title really that important? <laughs> yes. Kara opened his mouth to interject, but seemed to have thought better about it. Instead, he rubbed his temples and exhaled loudly. Tried to include something more battle-oriented. I, I don't know if fighting other heaven kind would count as an ideal experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. For now, let's go to the altar. To that altar tomorrow and see that marketplace as well. I'm exhausted. So much happened today. Of course. Uh, of course. We'll see you in the morning. Thanks. Don't oversleep, Care. At least we'll be poked with a stick. <laughs> as Lamari headed for the garden, Care took a step and then paused before advancing back. Um. Is this another one of your reluctantly admitting something confessions again? Sh shut up! It's not... Fine, it is. It's okay, Care. It shows I'm understanding you better. Is it about the fight? Yes, I, I might have acted a little harshly with you... With you, when you were obviously feeling down. It's okay. I guess my reaction was a little immature. I'm surprised you didn't leave me there. Believe me, thought crossed my mind, but Elmari wouldn't have pr proved. Well, I'm sorry for snapping at you. We do seem to rile each other up. I'll try and be a better friend to you. Friend? Uh, yeah, I mean, we've already been through so much together, I consider both you and Elmari friends. Oh, I don't care. My words soon just startled him. He awkwardly mumbled a goodbye and departed. Ah, oh, he's like, oh, friends. <laughs> Guess that notion never occurred to him. Well, Aureli, you're a knight in training now. Time to start acting like one. <laughs> Jumping up, I entered the lodge, eager for the next day and the adventures it would bring. Okay, I don't think it's the end of the chapter yet, but I'm gonna have to stop right here. Oh, and it is the end of the chapter. Never mind! How wonderful. Chapter 6, Knight in Training. So, perfect timing. Uh, so I'll see you guys next episode. Thanks for watching.